Uh, my name is Liam Kelly, uh, and I'm the curator of the exhibition Downfall by Siobhan Pasca. Um, Siobhan is originally from Belfast, uh, and this is her first exhibition in the city of both new and uh, former works. She has consistently exhibited in major exhibitions internationally, for example, Documenta, uh, Venice Biennale. She represented Ireland at the Venice Biennale in 2001. Now, at Documenta in 1997, um, she exhibited, was invited to exhibit there, and uh, the artistic director of Documenta then was Catherine David, and the theme had to do with cities, networks, change in society, or changes in society, and globalisation, as we move towards the millennium then. And I could see clearly, because I visited that, Documenta, and I met Siobhan for the first time, I could see how her work fitted into that fairly probing millennium theme. Siobhan Abbasca's work is also marked by binary oppositions, presence, absence, artifice, nature, life, death. Her work then, like all good art, is multi-layered, challenging, probing and open-ended, and it will take you as far as you seek to go in exploring various meanings and feelings. Trees have always featured in a number of um, Hapaska's works, such as there's one called Perpetual from 2001, another called Holding from 2002. And in this work that we're looking at, which is called Downfall, which gives the name to the exhibition as a whole, the concept here and display is related to territory and the denial of sustenance. The olive tree is natural to the Mediterranean countries, but it's also cultivated in Israel, the Palestinian territories, and Lebanon. The olive leaf is symbolic of abundance and peace and has many references uh, in the Bible and in the Quran. The root system of the olive tree is robust, but in downfall, which again is a, a multi-layered title, it is subverted and dislocated. You have two suspended trays over which the olive tree is further suspended. One is with the bare soil, the other one contains the leaves of the work. So you've got another binary taking place here. The work then relates to the Palestinian-Israeli problem, which like Northern Ireland is essentially about cultural identity and territory. The death of the tree in this particular work is underpinned by two states or two conditions. One abundant, like the tree with the leaves, the other denied some sort of vitality because the tree has been taken out of it. Another work in the exhibition, which was exhibited in New York recently, is called The Dog That Lost Its Nose, from 2009. This work is made up of 11 stainless steel spheres suspended in line from the gallery ceiling, with each sphere increasing in size and coiled with a roll of animal skin. That idea of mixing artificial materials and natural materials um, is a favourite motif of Chiffon Pasca. And in the work, each sphere can rotate on a different axis. As such, it continues an ongoing interest of the artist in movement, dislocation, collision, travel and change, and the importance of a state of in-betweenness. I think as you navigate the exhibition, as you walk around, um, that this kind of dislocated in-betweenness that I've been talking about, um, I think you will see that there are a number of subtle subversions at work, and that our work does engage with socio-political and cultural issues. And perhaps you might also sense the fact that there's something in the work here that relates to the fact that she's from here, which is a divided society in many ways, as we know, um, I think you asked me earlier about my favourite work. I think it has to be Downfall, um, because I think that there's an elegance in the realisation of the piece. I love its kind of simplicity and its complexity at the same time, and I think it makes a fairly powerful statement.